Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob in the Just Carve Rob studio, shop, whatever you want to call it, man cave. Yeah, man, we had to fire up the fire. It is chilly out here. It's colder than a polar bear's behind. Ooh. All right, so where are we at? Okay, we are moving the cord for our... We have to charge our camera while we're filming here, guys. So we may be a little bit limited on our movements because the cords are all dangling all over the place. You know how that is. All right. So here's our hillbilly. This is where we left off yesterday. All right. So let's go ahead. You can see we drew his mustachio in. And, uh, okay. Come right off the corner of the hat with the beard, guys. Right off the corner of the hat. Actually, you can, if you want to, you can come back a little bit further, but I'm coming right off the corner with it. Okay. So now you can see that beard cannot be that far out, right? So, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the noisy things. And we will take some of this back. we got to bring... Well, we got to be careful because we need his hands. His hands. Well, I think we're just going to put his hands in his pocket today. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so if we say his arms. Okay, his shoulders are right here. Right? So we got to bring his shoulders down a little bit yet. But we're going to make his arms right next to his beard. So we're going to say his arms are going to be like that wide. Okay. So mark that on both sides. That's about three-eighths of an inch, guys. About three-eighths of an inch. All right? So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut his shoulders in. We're going to knock some of this back off of here. Right? Because this back, your back's got a round. So we'll knock some of this back off here. Like that. Get that rounding. And the same way with the shoulders, they're round. So... We got our center line right here. Boy, this wood is rough, Pete. Should have sanded it out. Oh, broke my lead. Mechanical pencils are great, guys. You don't got to keep sharpening them, 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 them. Sharpening them. Sharpening, sharpening them. Sharpening them. Sharpening them. Got to get my tongue working today. I think it's coffee drunk. The tongue is coffee drunk, my friends. Coffee drunk tongue. Okay, like that. And then we'll cut the shoulders back here. And we'll cut the shoulders this way. And this way. Okay, you want your shoulders just behind your center line. So, well, we'll get to all that, right? So, let's get some noise started. Let's get carving, people. Let's carve. Need to relax. Need to carve. Okay, come on, lights. Why don't you work with me, lights? Stupid lights. I'm having light lighting issues here, guys. I got plenty of light, but it doesn't look like I got too much on the camera. But I got a lot right here. Actually, that's right here. Boom. See, just out of the shot of the camera, the lights are there. All right. Who cares about the lights, Rob? Sit your butt down, shut up, and carve. And that's what we will do carve. Just carve. Just carve up. <laughs> All right, guys, let the carving begin. All right, so we're going to start by rounding over the corners. Rounding over all the corners. Undercutting the hat a little bit. There's a lot of wood here that has to be removed, guys. Lots of wood. Yeah. I posted up the first two videos of this uh, this guy, and uh, I got a comment from uh, Rock of Ages USA. If any of you guys know him, 
He's a hoot. Uh, he's a chainsaw carver, but recently he's been doing a lot of work on his truck and whatnot. So anyway, he uh, sent me a comment saying, Hey, Just Carve Rob, I see you finally got around to carving me. <laughs> he lives in Tennessee. He's a hillbilly. And proud of it, as he should be. Uh, so, thanks, Rock. Appreciate it. Okay, so we are rounding over this guy. I'm going to draw where, I'm, where I think his hands are going to be, but uh, I don't think it's going to much matter. We cut around the bottom of him to uh, mark where the height of his feet. That's all that's for. Uh, that line will go away, as many of the lines here that you see will go away. So, uh, we have got a lot of wood to remove. Lots of wood to remove. So, yeah, what's happening out there? Is anything fun happening? Yeah, right, we're sitting at home. So, I guess nothing fun's happening. I've been carving today, making videos and carving and making videos. I made a tool video this morning on the types of tools that I like to use and that kind of stuff. Uh, that was first thing this morning, too. And now, <coughs> sorry, and now we're working on our hillbilly. He still will not be done. This will be video number three of the hillbilly. You're like, why is it taking so long, Just Carve Rob? Why is it taking so long to carve this hillbilly? Because I'm here to tell you. If I carved this out full, this hillbilly, it would take me probably an hour, maybe two, to totally carve them and be done with them. But I can't do that. Because then I'd have to dig through three hours of footage and edit and all that stuff. And I'd still end up having to break it down. So, and you guys would have to wait two days for it. So I figure it's just as easy to uh, record for... Uh, actually, I went a little crazy on this one. This video's over a half hour long. Wow, boy. Yeah, so I'm going to have to uh, speed the footage up to ho hopefully cut it down a little bit more and get some time off of this thing because uh, according to the analysis, you guys are only watching my videos for about 10 minutes and then you get bored of me. I get bored of me too. So I'm trying to keep the videos cut down into smaller bites. So you don't fall asleep. So, anyway, back to the carving. Yeah, it would take me a cup. It takes me, uh, if a video is 15 minutes long, it's going to take me almost three times that. So it's going to take me 45 minutes to an hour between editing, rewatching, make sure I didn't mess anything up too bad, and then posting. So, the 15 minute video you guys get to watch, I actually spend an hour better. And that's if everything goes right in my editing program, which has been glitchy as all get out lately. That's if everything goes okay and I don't got to redo it. So, I'm trying to break this down into smaller bites so that everybody don't get bored out of their skull. So, yeah, so there's probably going to, I know there's going to be a video number four, hopefully it'll be a little short video, of finishing this guy. But I hope you guys are getting the idea how you get to where you, how you get to the cart and get him to what he looks like. Okay, uh, yep, so basically we're taking his legs down, making his feet stick out, um... Basically, we're, we're just removing a lot of wood. A lot of wood to remove here, guys. A lot of wood. We're uh, roughing this, getting this coat all roughed in there. 
And, uh, yep, the, the, the tickets to knock all the sharp edges off. Um, except where the hands are going to go. Try to stay away from that area. But, like, the upper part, the upper shoulders, you can knock that all away. Look, he's wearing a cape right now. Looks like he's wearing a cape. Or a shawl, cape, shawl, something like that. Okay. All right, so you can see we've gone in and we've drawn the uh, the arms in on them. And right now we are cutting the arms in. Okay. Just going to cut that back. Um, I almost messed up here on the other arm. I went a little too deep up underneath the hat. And uh, that's where my beard's coming out of. So pay attention to that uh, because you can end up messing your beard up pretty good if you don't pay attention to where you're cutting. Because uh, I'll show you here when it comes up. I almost messed the whole beard up on this poor guy. I was cutting and cutting and cutting. I wasn't thinking ahead. And uh, when I start rounding it over right Right, right, right. Yeah, well, we're rounding things here. You'll see it where I rounded it over. The round over right there came up underneath the hat. Well, the beard comes straight out of that hat. And you can kind of see that by when you cut the arms in, it kind of gives you your layout for your beard. You can sight, you can almost see it come into shape right there. So uh, just remember. As you're making your chest area skinnier, that you're going to have that big, big honking hillbilly beard coming out of there. So uh, pay attention to that, because see right there, I almost messed it up. Uh, I took my pencil and went to draw the beard in. And I'm like, oh boy, look at what you did. See, right there, I noticed it. I'm like, uh oh, what did I do? So, yep, right there. I'm trying to flatten, trying to get it down so it could, it, because I cut that on an angle. So if I take it down a little bit more, I might be able to capture some, recapture some of my beard that I just whacked off there. Okay, redraw the beard. Look at that fancy pencil work, guys. Look at that. Uh, yep, oh, it's right on the edge, right on the edge of the beard. No! You messed up, Rob. Recover, recover. Well, we could have made him beardless if we had to. Could just give him a big mustache, and some a big chin. But uh, I wanted my guy. I want him to have a beard. He's a hillbilly. He needs his beard. All right. So we're gonna cut that beard in, so I don't forget about it again. And by sheer luck, it ended up being, as I cut it in, like I said, the chest got wider so I, I could pull it off. Just barely pulled it off there, guys. It's a good thing I woke up and smelt the coffee before I, uh, I cut too much more of that, that chest area away. Is he looking like a hillbilly? I think he's looking like a hillbilly. Now we're going to undercut that beard a little bit there. Still using the saber tooth uh, coarse bit flame burr. What do you think, Rock? Rock of Ages, you think that's looking like you? I don't think you got a hat like that, do you? I know he's got the big bushy beard. Well, you should have seen him before he cut it back. Holy mackerel. Talk about 
a hillbilly. Nice guy, though. Nicest, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet is Rock of Ages USA. Always doing for other people. I like to give a shout out to my friend Evil Evil Rick. I haven't heard too much from Evil Evil Rick. He must be busy fishing or flying his drone around. Evil Rick! He's another another uh, funny character. Evil, evil Rick. Ben over there at Studio on the Lake got us all started in the the Spirit Fish Wars. Yeah. He's gonna. We're getting them arms uh, roughed in right now. I am going to put his hands in his pockets. I will end up doing that. Um, I almost lost track of where I was going with that hand. But um, We're only going to get one hand done in this video, guys. The, the, the next hand will be in the next video. And we still have a lot of shaping to do yet. This is just, he's just getting roughed out right now. We still have to finish uh, shaping his hat. And I still think that the hat's still a little too big for the head. So we're going to have to cut the hat down some more. Uh, most of this goes by your personal taste. As far as how, how fat he is and. How big his hat is, how big his beard is, all that stuff. How long his legs are and all that good stuff. Uh, basically, it's just rounding and rounding, rounding and making things shaped. Um, getting his arm depth to your, your liking, what you like. Getting his arm thickness correct, or as correct as you, as what you like. I mean, he could be have skinny little arms, or he could have great big arms. Like this guy's got kind of heavy, hefty arms, I would think. But then again, uh, my hillbilly's not going to be a skinny little hillbilly guy. He's going to be a little porky, little portly, portly hillbilly. Yeah. So that's the only thing that won't jive with with rock he's a i think he's a tall skinny guy not super skinny but anyway rock of ages usa he had some problems at home the other night somebody was trying to do a home invasion on him trying to kick his door down you know I don't know who would want to do that to that guy. He's such a nice guy. But uh, he lives down in Tennessee. Um, I guess it would be East Tennessee, I think is where he lives, East Tennessee. Uh, yeah, so that just shows you things are getting tough. So keep your doors locked, guys. Not everybody is like me and has a great big vicious German Shepherd guard dog. Shop inspector guard dog thing. And I'll tell you, that's one thing I wouldn't want, to have, wouldn't, wouldn't want to do if I was somebody. I wouldn't want to come breaking into my house with that monster. She is, uh, she's something else. She she will protect her yard to no extent. I don't care what comes in the yard: Tweety birds, rabbits, squirrels. Man, she runs them right out. Cats, get out of my yard! Rah, 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 rah. 
shop inspector. So uh, you see what we're doing there? We're starting to cut the pocket in. Cut, trying, starting to cut the pocket in on that hand. And what we'll end up doing is angling the arm inward towards the belly. So that it looks like, you know, how when you put your hands in your pockets, they're not way out. They're tucked in. So that's what we'll do with that arm. We'll tuck it in. We'll angle it in towards the belly. Otherwise, the pocket looks like he's got on spandex coat. He's stretching his pockets all the way out. See? See how I'm cutting that arm inboard towards the belly? Shaving it towards the belly. Yep, see that? That's what we're doing. We're taking that arm and we're moving it in like in a regular coat. And then we'll just undercut the back side of the arm a little bit more. Give us a little more room there. Uh, we won't cut the coat down more. We'll feather the coat from the arm out on the coat. Because we kind of wanted that little poofy thing down at the bottom of the coat. And we're rounding the pocket over. See that? We're rounding that pocket over. Pretty cool. It's going to look like his hands are in his pocket. Love it. Good, good, good. Love it. Yes, I'm having too much fun, guys. And I'm just narrating it. Can you imagine how much fun I was having carving it? I was giggling like a ten, like a ten year old schoolgirl. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. Aw, the fun's about to come to the end, guys. Coming to the end of this video, so I get to go back and have more fun. All right, guys. Uh, stay safe. Keep your doors locked. Stay home. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Leave comments. Share. Subscribe. Like. And we will catch you guys on the next one, all right? Bye.